What's up everybody, Matty back with another tutorial video. Today we are going to show you how to install Toco VoIP as well as a new client that JD, our lead developer, who is on this call with me. How are you, sir? Good, are you? Doing excellent. So he developed this so you can run two TeamSpeaks at one time. This is critical if you want to have dispatch work but also still have TeamSpeak, or excuse me, Toco. So first we need to go to uh, the Toco website. So we're going to go ahead and pull that up. I've also got the link already copied, so I'm just going to paste that in. All links will be in the description below. Once we're here, it's going to take you to the latest version, 156. Down here, just a few server files for your server devs, but this is the one that you as a player need, this plugin. It shows 154 is the latest version of the plugin. So it's going to download what I do, JD. From there, you should be able to just click on that file that you downloaded or go to your downloads folder, whichever you're more comfortable with. From there, you can see all the information about Toco VoIP. Um, can't do anything there, so just hit install. Yes, you want to install the client. They're just making sure that you really want to install the plugin, and then restart TeamSpeak if it isn't already open. All right, cool. So hit if yes. It is. Yeah, it'll restart if you already have it open. We didn't, so no big deal. We're gonna make sure it installs. So we're just gonna launch our TeamSpeak client real quick. Just go to plugins and now we have a Toco VoIP whereas we did not before. So that no that lets us know it did install. Okay, so now that we've uh, verified that the Toco did install and we've closed TeamSpeak, we're gonna go ahead and go to our next site to get the client itself. Where do I go, sir? From here you wanna go to venomsolutions.net and click the contacts and links. Uh, your video, the one you're watching now, is attached above, but you wanna hit download here. Um, and that is our 5M and TeamSpeak 3 launcher. Okay. Just click on that or go to your downloads. From there, Windows gives a false positive. Just hit more info, run anyway, because it's a new program and not enough people have told it that it is okay. Once you hit run anyway, it's going to say, hey, this is where I'm getting it, which is venomsolutions.net um, and what the program is. Make sure that that looks exactly how it is now and then hit install. Okay, install it is. Gives you one more false positive because it's also grabbing another thing from the internet, which is the actual server files. Hit run anyway. And there you go. So now that we have run it, this is what will actually pop up next. And what's really cool about this, JD is going to explain it here in a moment, but this is where you put in your server address. And then you're going to have two TeamSpeaks again because we are going to run dispatch. So we have to have two separate ones. Uh, that said, uh, you would enter each of those addresses, but once you select this checkbox to auto launch and then save and launch, it will save whatever you put in here. That way, every time you just come double click this new icon, it's going to automatically pull up your two TeamSpeaks and connect you to your server directly. Now, JD, if you want to explain what all these checkboxes mean and what's important here. Yep, so the checks, the checkboxes next to each text box are just saying hey what's in this text box to the left of me is what i want to launch so if you only want to wa launch two teen speaks or if you only want to launch 5m and a teen speak or if you just want to launch 5m you just check what box you want and then that last box is use the same settings i just did um the next time i hit the shortcut and the next time i launch this application and then when you do that it will pop up a three second hey you sure you want to do this and then after three seconds it will do it for you okay awesome so what we're going to do is go ahead and run the client. So we will see you here in just a second. Okay, before we actually show how this operates real quick, we do want to show you one other thing. You need to set up your hotkeys so you know which button is going to actually work with what radio. Because again, we're going to go, or excuse me, in-game AM radio because you're going to have two TeamSpeak running. So you need to have separate key binds. So how do I do that, JD? So what you want to do is you want to go to Tools and then Options. From there, go to hotkeys, and as you can see, you're going to start off with a default one. That's just the one that, when you open TeamSpeak, that's the one that defaults. Um, from here, you're going to want this to be whatever you want to have your in-game to be. So in this case, I believe Maddie has his to be pause. Yep, which I want to be my radio instead. You want to uh, click that box that says pause right now and then do F9. Exactly. So, click that. 
hit OK. So now it's F9 for me to talk in game. It is important to note that your November key, the N key, will always be an in game chat that is built into 5M and you cannot remove it. So that will still be there. So it may take some time for your users and yourself to get used to not using that key because you can't take it out. But that also means you cannot assign this to be the N key because you're going to have then two in game talking at once. So what do I do next? All right, so next you want to hit the down below to that plus button and change that to radio or profile name is radio. This will be what you use for the radio. You want to do default settings and hit OK. Uh, click on radio below and then add right there, the plus and the add. Hockey, make this whatever you want your radio hockey to be. In this case, Maddie wants pause and then go down below to the very, very last in that in that box, push to talk, click the thing and hit default. Hit OK. And there you go. Now you have pause for radio and F9 for in game. If you want to do, if you want to have your members do in game when they talk on the radio as well, you just move your radio button also inside your default. OK, sounds good. So now that we've done that, we're just going to hit OK. We're going to go ahead and launch the two team speak thing see how that works all right now remember it's going to go to start menu if i wanted to go edit those configurations the different addresses we had but now you see we have two team speaks and it's going to launch 5m and connect into the server we will see you when we are there okay so as you see here we have actually launched into the game you can hear the background noise i could even actually walk around in game right now but obviously i can't see that's because we have to be in the right channel in order to actually be in the game. So what do I do, JD? From there, um, in our server, you want to go to Tokovoip Waiting inside our Tokovoip server. Okay. Before I do that, one thing to note is sometimes you're going to go there and it may not connect still. Make sure if you go to Plugins in Tokovoip, you may have to hit Connect here. So we're going to do that just in case. Now that we have done that, we're going to go to the Tokovoip Waiting. As you see, it did now connect since I hit plugins, Toko, connect. So I'm just going to switch to this channel. channel, switch. channel switch. And I yep. am and in. Before you click on 5M, oh, but, tap back out to those team speaks. Exactly. Um, and then make sure that on your radio, so the one on your left, Maddie, the radio server, mm -hmm. go to self, uh, hockey profile, and then click radio. Excellent. That way... That way, both your in-games are not both your team speaks. Exactly. And then over here, this self on this one, hotkey profile, is still default. So that's how it's supposed to be. And it saves those, or do you have to do that every time? It will save, if you are signed in, it will save those, um, save the setting that you did. You have to tell yourself um, what hockey you are every time you launch uh, team speak, though. Okay. So it'll keep, your, it'll keep your profile, so you just have to tell it which one every time you launch. Okay. Awesome. So just make sure if you are talking twice at one time or in both radios, you may need to verify or you're not speaking in another that these are set up properly. So now that we're here, I'm going to go ahead and mute in Discord and then we will talk and show you how Toko itself works. Okay, cool. Now that we are in the server, I am going to go ahead and show you how it works. So I'm going to mute here in Discord, JD. Can you hear me, sir? I can hear you. Awesome. Now, as you can tell by the video, we can only hear it out of our left side. That's because he's fa he's directly to my left. If I face him, I will probably hear it a little bit on both sides. Hello. A little bit. Okay, so now that we are uh, showing you how it kind of works, and what's really cool is actually, let's do one more thing. Uh, start talking to me, JD, and then just walk away. Hello. Goodbye. 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 I'm shouting, and I'm still walking. And as you heard, he eventually fades out to where we can't hear each other. So what's really cool about that is we could be on a 1011 behind one another. Uh, we, you know, we can be behind our own police car, and the person in the car probably isn't going to hear us. So that is pretty and cool. And you should start hearing me come back now. Absolutely. So you can always tell you're talking because in the top left corner where it says normal for me right now, it's yellow when you're talking. Let go of it. No, it's not. Hold down on it. Now it is yellow again. However, we can also change that from normal. How do we do that, JD? If you hit Z or Zebra on your keyboard, I will change it. It should go uh, quiet to high. So normal to whispering and shouting back to normal. Exactly. So we're just normal. Then you have whispering and then you have shouting. It doesn't make your sound level any difference. That's just proximity. So we're on normal. 
you can see about the normal range before you stop hearing each other and it just extends out if you go to shouting and then it just narrows down if you go to whispering but that's so you can do that quickly on the fly okay so now that we've shown you how it works let's go ahead and pull up our team speak so you can see them all right so as you see if i hold down on the f9 key to talk in game on the one on the right which is our in-game talking with toko that's going to light up for me just like that jd can probably hear me twice and i'm sure it's driving him nuts right now but now we need to show you the radio so we had set up the radio key for us to be pause so if i hold down on pause here i am talking in the radio jd can you talk to me hello i am on the radio Okay, cool. So we showed you how to set it up, how it works, and one last final note, if you do want radio effects, JD, when he did the quick test, he sounded crystal clear. Talk for me again in the radio, please, sir. This is the radio. Excellent. So we have that radio effect. If we uh, go to radio effects here, you'll see that we have that plugin installed. I have a video on that as well. We'll put that in the description, too. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know in the comments below, and y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.